Hey guys, it's Austin. Welcome to your 6 Roblox so a GUI scripting tutorial. And today I'm going to go over a common misconception about GUIs in general. So say we have a mini games game, and we want to, at the end of each round, uh, clone a GUI into each player's screen that displays how many points they got during the round. I'm going to press F7 and go into a test server. So, how some people would do this is they'd have their script and they would um, do something like uh, they would say game.starter GUI and then do whatever. So, to illustrate um, what not to do, we'll say game.starter GUI dot screen GUI dot text label dot text equals your points um, and we can pretend we had a points value to concatenate there so what you first need to understand is let's go over to the players directory into the player we have this thing called player GUI we also have starter GUI let's open up player GUI we have a control GUI and that's just for Roblox's mouse lock thing so we could ignore that but we also have this GUI here that I made, which also happens to be in starter GUI, right here. So what you need to understand is there's a difference between player GUI and starter GUI. When you edit starter GUI, you're editing what's going to pop up on their screen after they respawn. So what you need to remember is this, that starter GUI is what gets cloned into player GUI when a player spawns. Player GUI is what's already on the player's screen, what they see now. So we have this server script here. Um, hey, it changed. Let's go back into a whole lot of loop here. Wall wait five do wait five it changed again. F seven test server. Just gonna wait five seconds, change it, wait five seconds, change it again forever. And this is for testing purposes obviously. It's not changing, I wonder why that is. But Ooh, what do we have here? It's changing in starter GUI on the server. Back and forth. But, uh, let's use <coughs> an in pairs loop to uh, change it on the player screen. For IV in pairs uh, game dot players oops get players do so what get players uh, does is it returns a table of all the players in the game so um, v refers to a player then any given player object in players v dot player GUI dot screen GUI dot text label dot text equals hey it changed uh, actually I'm gonna put this back in the loop and wait five it changed again fix the indentation <coughs> test server Do, 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 do. And it's waiting five seconds and it's changing. This is because we're editing it on the player GUI, what they see now. We can see the text right here and it's changing. And that's because we edited it on player GUI, not starter GUI. Um, so yeah, this was a pretty short video, I guess. 
I just wanted to explain that to you guys so you guys know some more good practice about GUIs. I don't know what my next video is going to be on. I hope I don't wait three weeks again to upload it though. I hope to have it figured out in just a few days or so. Uh, yeah, I'll get some new content up for you guys whenever you can. Uh, bye for now.